what's going on guys so today i'm back with another video of my us 30 weekly markups and breakdowns so firstly i'm gonna get right into the video and we're gonna start off on the weekly time frame so one thing that you want to keep in mind is that overall if you're watching price and what it was doing we were consolidating for a few weeks we had a major breakdown but then we recovered right away and as of right now if you keep in mind what is happening on the overall time frame because the weekly is going to be your higher time frame so if you look this is a weekly order block this is a major order block that we created due to having this down candle and this push up that we're now breaking highs so you want to keep your eye on what happened here these weekly candles retraced into this order block i'm not sure how much it retraced it looks like it was a continuation if i may be right close to a continuation so it came close to this 38.20% continuation level. And that is a sign of strong trend and it's keeping its overall uptrend. And if you look down here, it had a similar reaction. So if you look with this down candle before we had an up candle that then took off, it looks similar to this. So overall, I'm very bullish on the higher time frames. I'm not gonna have any markups on this time frame, but we're gonna move down to the daily and we're just gonna mark up what we see. So one thing you also want to keep in the back of your mind is that all above all of these highs that we've been having the past couple of weeks is buy side liquidity, meaning there's liquidity resting above all these highs, above these highs, above these highs, above these highs, because this is on the daily time frame. So this is what retail traders would look at as support and resistance. In reality, that is not what I'm how I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. There is liquidity above here and I want to take out this liquidity. So that's what we see on this the daily time frame. So another thing we want to keep in mind, we're going to mark up this daily order block that is down here at this last down candle before this up move. And what else am I going to do? I'm going to mark up the 50 percent of it because that's what I do with all my order blocks, because it gives you an idea where price could likely retrace to. So we're going to get our 50 percent fib. We're going to pull it from the top to the bottom. So now you have the 50 percent. Why is it so dark? Let me move it. I don't like them that dark. Just like that. I like to have them clean order blocks just like this. So what level is this? If you look, 33,525. We're just going to have that marked there. So basically almost 33,500 level. So that's a strong area that we can look for a retracement if price does continue to fall. But in my opinion, I don't think it will. So we're going to move on to the four hour time frame. And these lines are just my lot in my sessions. So it tells you the highs and lows of each day. And if you look, we're going to mark up our daily highs and daily lows. So right here, we're going to have our daily high because this is the previous day high that we're going to mark up that previous day low, which would be all the way down here. So this is our daily range that we're keeping in mind. So from this low to this high is our daily range. And since we're overall bullish, we want to see price break the daily high to then take out the liquidity above this up here, buy side liquidity. And another thing we're going to want to mark up is over here. We if you look at this, we have an imbalance. So in between here and here, we have a gap between these three candles, meaning there is an imbalance there. An imbalance is another form of liquidity. So I'm going to put that. We have an imbalance. I'm going to draw it all the way over. So if you see, we have an imbalance right above where we had this buy side liquidity. So overall, we want to see price take prices higher. It's why? Because we know there's a lot of liquidity resting above. Where is it at? Resting above these highs, these highs, these highs. And also right up here, we have that imbalance. So we have a lot of confirmation for price to continue bullish. And overall on the higher time frames, we overall know we overall know that we're bullish also. So now that we have our daily range, what do we want to do? We're going to pull our fib from the low this is from the low to the top of where we currently are price is probably gonna either push up higher and we'll just have to redo this fib when price when the market opens but as of right now we don't know so we're just gonna draw it from where it is right now so what do we what do we see right now so let's mark up our four hour order blocks and the first one that i see is right down here in confluence with this 79 percent so since this order block i'm gonna put this on and we're going to do the same thing we did with all our other order blocks. We're going to put our 50% because this is mitigating the order block. It gives you a better area to enter if price does come down. So if price does come down, you don't have to try and get in at the 79. You know you could possibly get in at this 50%, giving you a less 
a tighter stop loss because if you get in up here around 33 34 400 area at the 79 in the beginning of this order block your stop loss will have to be under it which is 150 pips but if you get in at that 50 percent this is just hypothetical if price does come here that's around 100 to 80 so it's cutting it in half your stop loss giving you a way bigger risk reward for if price does come up around 500 pips and that's one to five right there so we have this order block in this area we're going to mark up with our level just so we can see it 34 348 so we know this is a level that price could likely retrace to if this right here is broken so if you watch my previous video on breaker blocks is basically an order block that gets broken through so if you see it right here we're just going to go back in time for example right here this would have been an order block so people would have probably been looking to sell short in this market right here so if you would have pulled that from this high we had confluence to 79 percent we also had this order block so people were probably trying to shorten that market and this is a valid order block why because this is the last up candle before the down move that took out these lows breaking market structure so it would have been clean but in this case if you would have took this trade you would have lost that trade because it ended up breaking through and now that it broke through what do we also see so you saw how we had this fib drawn from this low we had the fib drawn from this low to the high that the market closed at and what do we see from this fib the 38.20 percent is at this breaker block and again the breaker block is an order block that gets broken through so price has a chance now of retracing to this breaker block to then possibly consolidate to see these higher prices that we want to see so these are two scenarios that we are looking for overall buy trades in on us 30 so we're going to put on the eye emoji that i always like to use for at these areas that we want to pay attention to why because these are areas that have a lot of confluence overall this confluence down here we have a four hour order block at the 79 percent of the fib so that's two confirmations and we're still going to be above the daily high we're still going to be under the daily high and below the daily low so overall if we want to see that retracement of the daily time frame we can see a retracement and if you also look where is this at we could come down come to this candle fill it in possibly coming right over here which is in confluence as you can see on the daily time frame to possibly keep on going higher with our overall bullish buys that we have on the daily and the weekly and same thing down here say for example now price doesn't it comes here but consolidates maybe fakes people out but comes lower so now we have another area that we could look for down here because these are areas that have high confluence and overall is staying above the daily low so we overall will still have that bullish market structure but overall what i think is going to happen i think we're more likely to respect this breaker and keep this uptrend to then take out the liquidity above all these highs the buy side liquidity and try and fill in this imbalance and another thing you want to keep in mind is right here we're on the four hour time frame what else do you see there's an imbalance right here from this these three candles this candle this candle this candle the wicks when these three has a gap in the middle and this candle wick isn't touching this candles wick that's an imbalance and if you need a better understanding of an imbalance i have a video strictly on imbalances so you can go look at that we also have an imbalance right there where this confirmation is so it's a lot of confirmation in this area so price i think is likely to come down fill in this imbalance possibly consolidate to then push up higher to overall see the higher prices this is the scenario that i want to see and this is going to be one that i pay attention to because i think is more than likely going to happen here then price retrace all the way down here because if you remember keep in mind the daily time frame we're very bullish and we've been trying to break these highs for weeks We've been trying to break these highs and we haven't been able to and after we break these highs the next target we're going to have is right above here because what is above this high up here more liquidity and mind you all the other indexes are still making higher highs nasdaq all that nas 100 is making higher highs us 30 is one of the few that have broken its highs so i'm overall bullish on it as you can see from the higher time frames as i said so that's one thing one scenario we want to see so we're going to move down to the one hour time frame we're going to look on here this last time frame we're going to go down because i look at the 30 minute when i'm in trades but i do all my markups on higher time frames and if you look on these lower time frames 
what do we have inside of this imbalance? We have an even smaller imbalance right here. We have an even smaller imbalance. But this is an imbalance within an imbalance. And if you do what we always do, we mitigate it by putting the 50%. So we draw it from this imbalance, the high of it to the low. What do we have? The 50% of this overall imbalance lines up with the bottom of this one hour imbalance. So it's a lot of confirmation. So more than likely, price will come down, come to these areas, reject, possibly come down to 38.20%. But remember what I said, price could likely go a little bit higher before retracing. So wherever it goes, we will fix our FIB to it because this low isn't going to be broken anytime soon. So we're going to keep that low and wherever the high is made, we're going to fix it. So if price, say, for example, does end up opening higher when the market opens, we could pull our FIB up to wherever it is. And as you can see, the 38.20% is just going to have a higher likelihood of being in confluence with this four hour imbalance, this one hour imbalance and the 50% of that four hour imbalance. So we have a lot of confirmation. And mind you, that's also going to be at this four hour breaker. So there's a lot of confluence in this area. It's just we got to wait and we got to see what the market does. So that's going to be my overall trade idea for when the market opens on US 30. I'm expecting to have a bullish breakout if you guys want to say bullish breakout to take these highs out and after that we're going to see what we can look for there because if you go to the monthly time frame we can't really look at what's happening overall because it's just been pushing up nothing's really crazy happening the only other area that we would pay attention to on the monthly time frame is all the way down here and this is at what price is this let's put this this is all the way at 30,000. So it's nowhere near. So we don't even want to pay attention to that. That's around 4,000 pips away. So that doesn't matter. The weekly, we already know what we saw on the weekly. Overall, we're still very bullish. And I think with the way can these candles are moving, this bullish engulfing, and we're about to take these highs, I think we're going to have a similar scenario to what happened down here. Same thing. Price retrace into these overall bullish engulfing just like this just like it's doing right here to then push higher to possibly do the same thing so that's basically what we're going to do we're just going to trade what we see we're marking it up as we go and that's really it that's my bias on us 30 i'm overall bullish and i think a target for this week we could see hopefully a new all-time high because all-time high currently is at 35 104 so we're just going to see what happens hopefully you guys found this video helpful hopefully you guys could get some good trades from this and that's really it like comment subscribe uh answer any questions that you guys have drop any video ideas for anything that you guys need help with i'll be happy to share them also join my telegram free telegram in my bio you know there's a free community i do live trades every single day all my trades all analysis and that's really it so hopefully you guys found this video helpful and i'll see you guys in the next one